Why else? And to understand words. To understand words. So do you read for fun? No. Do you read for fun? Some people do. And to do better in school, right? Yes. Okay, it is important to understand what you read. Part of making sure you understand what you read is reading all the words correctly. We're going to study and practice the skills we need to read all words correctly. So in our HD word lessons, we will practice reading accurately and fluently. Do you know what accurately means? No. Correct. Okay, we're, we're going to say the words correct. And do you know what fluent means? No. Fluent is when you can just read without stopping. Okay. Although we will practice reading fluently, we will mainly focus on reading accurately. Okay, no guessing words, no adding words, just what you see. We will, re we will learn how to read words accurately in every lesson. We will misread words, or when we misread words, it's easy to understand what is being read. Let's look at a couple of examples, okay? The horse was very hot. Okay? The house was very hot. Did you hear a difference between what I read and what is on the board? Yes. Did I read the sentence accurately? So did I read it correctly the second time? No. no. Which word was different? Um, the, it wasn't the house was yeah, you can just shut up. <laughs> How did this change the meaning? So, if I said house instead of horse, what am I talking about in this sentence? A house being hot. So, what do you think is going on with the house? The temperature is too hot. Right, but what if I said horse? Does that have anything to do with our house? No. no. What's it have to do with? It has oh, to do horse. with a horse that's, um, it's straight into a horse and it's actually sweating. Yeah. Yeah. So this sentence is about a horse that was very hot. What kinds of things would a horse need if it was very hot? Water. Water. What else? Um, ice. Ice. Good. If I had read the sentence correctly, we would have formed a picture in our minds of a horse being hosed down with water or maybe a horse lounging in a pool. When I read the sentence incorrectly, it was about a house that was very hot. What kinds of things would someone need if his or her house was very hot? Um, lemonade. If their house was hot? Oh, a person would need it, yes, what else? Um, probably the fire department. The fire department, why? If the house was very hot, then it would make the fire. Yeah, what else, then? Also, it would... What else would you need if the house was hot? What oh. do you turn on when it's hot outside? Fan? Yeah, you could use a fan. Because I read the sentence incorrectly, we probably formed a picture in our minds of a person sweating, right? Yes. Not a horse sweating. Okay, the horse was very hot. The house was very hot. What is the only difference between the words horse and the house? Just shout it out. The, uh, there's a U in the house and there's not a U in the horse. What's in the horse? What letter? An R. An R, yep. Even though these sentences have completely different meanings, only one letter could change the meaning, right? Mm -hmm. The R would change into U in the So the next one, the horse got a cold. What if I said the horse got cold? Does that change the meaning? It's, it's a difference because the horse got a cold, that means it might have been sick, and the horse was cold. So if I just, so what word or did I put, take out that changed the meaning of the sentence? 
What word when I said the horse got cold? What word? Got. Instead of. So I said the horse got cold. What word? It's just a letter. A. Yeah, I took the A out. So if I said the horse got a cold, what would the horse need, Betty? If I said the horse got a cold. So what kind of things do you need when you get a cold? Oh, um, you need soup. Yeah, you need soup. Medicine. What else? Medicine. Yeah, what if I said the horse got cold? What would the horse need? Oh, um, turn up the temperature a little bit to make it hotter. Yeah, and what else? On the blanket. Yeah. So the horse got a cold. The horse got cold. What's the only difference with these two sentences? There's no, well, there's an A and the horse got a cold and the horse got cold. Good. There's no A. Good. Even though these sentences have completely different meanings, only one difference is that little small word or letter A. Okay? Remember, if we skip a word when you guys are reading, it could change the whole sentence. So if you're reading this and you take out that A, it's going to change what we're saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's accuracy. All right. So now I'm going to give you guys color tiles. Ooh. Ben, you're going to do this with your sister over here. Okay. Come on over, buddy. So, for each sound that you hear in a word, you're going to put your tiles on your whiteboard. Okay, so I'll give you an example. So, if I said the word hat, how many letter sounds do you hear in hat? One. Oh, wait. Let's think about it. What do you think, Ben? How many sounds do you hear in the word hat? What sounds make up that whole word? All of them. Which are what? H. H A T A T. So how many letter sounds do you hear? Three. Three. So put three. Okay, next we're gonna match the tiles to the sounds we hear. So we heard what's the first sound? Not letter. What's the first sound we hear? In hat. Okay. H. Yep. Do we have an H? Let me try to see. Wait. You know what? Here, there we go. H. Ben, what's the second sound? A. No, that's a letter. What sound do you hear in hat? A. Ah. Okay, so where? what letter makes that sound? A. And then what's the third sound? T. T. Good. So we're going to match these up. Okay? So the word hat has how many sounds? How many sounds did we match up? Three. Three. And not all sounds are spelled with one letter. What if I said the word chat? How many sounds do you hear in chat? Don't think of letters, think of sounds. So ch. I only hear four. So we hear ch. Ah. Ah. So how many sounds three. do you hear? Three. So get your three. Yes, Put them on there. But you know that there's four letters, right, in yeah. the word chat. So what two what sound do you hear at the beginning of chat? And what two letters make up ch? C-H. All right, so we should have a thing. C-H. C-H. Well, did you get the big thing? Yep. Yeah. What's the next one? A. A. So A. Yeah. And T. 
And then the third one is, what's the third sound? And what letter makes that sound? T. Good. After we learn to read single syllable words like chat with our letters, then we might read longer words where chat is one of the syllables. Like chattery. So how many syllables, Ben, are in this word, are in the word chattery? How many syllables? Do you know what syllables are? Yeah. Okay. A. Syllables, not vowels. So how many times do you have to move your mouth? Three. Three. Yeah, so how many times did three. you? Three. That's three syllables in the word chattery. I have lots of them. Okay, I will read each syllable separately and then blend the syllables together. So the first syllable is what? The first, what? Uh, chat. What's the second one? Ter. Ter. What's the third one? Ing. So let's blend them together. Chat, ter, read. Okay. Yeah. You guys do this at home or at your school? You actually can't put no. not a lot. No. We just you actually can't put ing in like set just by itself. How many sounds do you hear in this one? How many sounds do you hear in this syllable? Just this one. Oh. Chat. Just one. Chat. Sounds. 